Hi guys, I'm just going to do a follow-up video, quite a quick one, um, from this morning's video, which was how to program a Bofeng UV5R with the programming software. hope that cleared up a few questions for the people that had asked, um, especially regarding the USB um, cable drivers which you, uh, which you need, so the computer actually recognises the radio. Um, another thing I get asked, and I've been asked, is how to program a repeater in, for example, using the keypad on the radio. Now, a lot of people... I've said this is quite a complicated thing to do. I agree in some respects, but um, I'm going to show you a simple way of how to do it. Um, and once you've learned it, you'll be programming repeaters in seconds into your radio. So, first of all, the information you need, all you need to do it is the um, RX frequency, the TX frequency, and the tone um, that opens the repeater. It's dead easy, that's, that's all you need. So, oops, so I'll show you how to do it now. So, you take your radio and you type in the repeater output frequency, which in this case is 433350. So, 433, oops, four, oh god, sorry, hang on, 433350. So, you type that into your radio. Make sure you're in, obviously, in uh, VFO mode for this by pressing that button there. You've got memory mode and VFO mode. So 433, 350 is, is, has been typed into the, uh, into the radio there. So then you press menu, 2 and 7. And that will bring up memory number 27, which is right to memory channel. So you just press menu. So you'll see the little arrow go down to the bottom and you scroll down to an empty channel. Now, the ones that have got stuff in, have got CH next to it. The ones that are empty, have got nothing. So you go to an empty one and press menu again and exit. Now, that means that on memory number 126, the output of the repeater is stored. So then you port the input, which is 434.950. So 434.950. Again, menu, and then one and three, which takes you to the CTCSS. Menu again. Scroll up and down to get to the CTCSS you want, which is in, in this case is 82.5. When you've got that, you just press menu, and then you press 27. You're already on channel number 126. Just press menu, menu, and escape. And if you go to your memory channels there, and you go down, you'll see one two six. You've got your um, you've got your offset programmed in, and that's the channel. And if I key up, the repeater is open. So it's dead, it's dead simple, it's really simple. What I'll do is I'll show you again now, by going back to VFO mode, I'll show you again without talking how quick it is to do. And if I go back to the memories again, and down to number 125, which is the one I just programmed, the repeater's programmed in. So at the end of this video, <clears throat> I'll put the key sequences down that you need to get that programmed in. And if you write them down and follow it, you'll have a repeater programmed in in seconds like I just have. <clears throat> Dead easy to do. Like I say, all you need is those three bits of information and your radio. Um, it takes a bit of patience to get used to, but once you're doing it, you'll have you'll have your radio programmed up in no time. Um, and as for programming the simplex channel, you just do the first step um, where I program the repeater output. You just save it to a memory channel, and that's done. You don't need to go through and obviously do the repeater input and stuff. If it's a simplex channel, you just do the first step, which is what I uh, what I showed you. But I'll include it all at the end of the video. Hope that helped, guys, and um, for the people that have asked. Um, any questions, comments, just uh, leave them in the box below and I'll do my best to get back to you. As always, thanks for watching. 7 3 for now. Yeah, go on. Have you got a nice run out to Preston or Summit? I'm actually, I've got Hesketh Bank, that's as far as I can get you. We'll have to make do. Where are we going?
Something, Andy. Have you got someone for me, love? Want to tip this?